Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about MITRE ATT&CK framework. This framework adopted by a lot of organization to improve their cyber security posture. And in this video, we're going to cover a basics of MITRE ATT&CK. This video can be helpful for the SOC analyst and CISOs also. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. So MITRE and ATT&CK both are a separate term. MITRE is a non-profitable organization, which is basically handle the FFRDCS projects. Okay, FFRDCS means Federally Funded Research and Development Center, which support a various US government agencies like aviation, defense, healthcare, homeland, security, cybersecurity field. So this corporation, this company or this organization do a lot of innovations and ATT&CK is one of their innovation. So according to Wikipedia and other source, they introduced this framework, which is called ATT&CK as a framework in 2013. And some claimed it is introduced in 2015. So I'm just telling you according to the source. So it is a corporation and attack is the name of the framework. Now let's discuss about attack. Now when we're talking about attack, attack basically stand for adversarial tactics, technique and common knowledge. I repeat adversarial tactics, techniques and common knowledge. So when I say adversary, adversarial or adversarial, it means enemy or you can say it is called as a intruder or you can say this can be your attacker okay so they are using a tactics okay they're using a detailed technique with the knowledge to exploit and hack the systems okay so this framework is basically give the visibility to the security professional what can be the possible way you know the bad people or attacker or enemy can able to penetrate into the organization network so before going to discuss this framework let me give you a visibility about the attack behavior normally what happen when we buy any kind of a security solution example we have a firewall so this is the firewall we have and this is my web server one we have a database here okay so we have a web server and we have a database now what happened is uh, we have created a rule in the firewall source is any destination is basically a web server ip source port is any and destination port is 80 so this is something is a static rule we have created in the firewall now any traffic is basically coming from a random ip and going on the port number 80 they can basically allow because firewall allowing all type of traffic which is going on the port number 80 but might be here attacker is having some other intent definitely they sending a packet on port number 80 but might be it is a exploit packet Okay, might be he's sending a series of packet on the web server so that he can able to disrupt that. Okay, so firewall and other security solutions work on the static parameters. Whatever you instruct them, according to that, they will basically block. But now we have to think from the attacker point of view. Okay, so me as a security professional, I'm thinking from the attacker perspective, okay, how can anyone hack into my web server how can anyone enter into my networks what are the different ways he can basically use what are the different techniques he can basically use by which he can able to penetrate into my enterprise network because that that uh, that era has gone that that time is gone where you just simply creating a rules in the firewall and you can block no now we need to focus on their behavior we need to focus on their techniques because when we're talking about threat, okay, threat is an action. It is basically formed from a three important parameter. One is called as a capability. One is called as an opportunity and one is called as an intent. Okay, so maximum what we can do, we can apply the control to limit the opportunity. 
but we don't have any kind of a control over the capability and we don't have any kind of a control on the intent. So here as a security professional, we would like to understand what is the capability. It means what is the knowledge he has and what is the intention he has. So by this way, we can proactively, we can apply the necessary control and we can able to block such kind of an attacks. In my previous video of threat intel, I have explained the same example. Suppose this is basically my city in which we have a three house, house one, house two and house three. Okay, house one, house two and house three are basically well equipped with the physical security controls. But now what happened as a adversary or uh, attacker, you can say, or we have a robbers here or thief, you can say. So we have a thief. Give me a second. So we have a thief here. They basically knock the door and they inform them. They told them that, okay, we are from an NGO based on the trust. The person from this house opened the door. When they opened the door, they have robbed the house. Okay. Same pattern they did on the house too. Also, they knocked the door. They told, Hey, we are from an NGO. We need your help. They opened the door. They robbed the house. Now house three got this pattern because this information they got from the cop. Now cop understood, the police understood this is something is a tactics. This is something is a technique enemies or thief are using. So they inform the house three, like if this kind of a thing happened, you can stop it. So here the police was able to understand the tactics. Police was able to understand the technique. That is where they inform the house three person and similar thing happened. One of the person or a thief, we tried to knock the door. He got the understanding. He informed the police. And by this way, police was able to stop these things. Similar thing happened in the organization. In the organization, we have a two type of team. We have a red team and we have a blue team. Okay. Red team is called as an offensive team. And blue team is basically called as a defensive team. So they instruct the red team to think like a hacker and try to hack this website because we would like to know how secure is my website and blue team is responsible for applying the necessary control. So they can able to pass the vulnerability. So this framework can be used by red team also and blue team also. So they refer this framework, which give them a visibility about the possible attack patterns, which attacker can use, which is attacker mean adversarial. Okay. Sorry for my pronunciation. Adversarial. It is not ad advisory. It is adversarial, which is called as an enemy. So this company, which is called MITRE has introduced this framework, which give the possibilities, which give the visibility about the possible attack patterns. Okay. Threat patterns, which we can basically learn in advance. And by this way, we can able to proactively protect the organization from all kind of an attack. That is why it say it was created and the attack description was tactics. It means what is the, uh, the process they use? What is the technique they basically use? And then they have a procedure. So these three things has been divided into three parts. So we called as a adversarial tactics. So when we're talking about the adversarial tactic, where the goal of the attacker with this tactic is to gain access to the network. Live example, someone want to uh, hack my website. Okay. So first step is basically he used the reconnaissance. Reconnaissance means information gathering. So that is a called as a adversarial tactics. Okay. Where the enemy use a tactic to gather the information. Now in that he use a detailed technique by checking some third party website or sending some kind of a packet to my server to analyze the OS information, operating system information. So that is basically called as a technique. And then they have a detailed procedure, how to do this kind of a thing. Okay. So information gathering was the adversarial tactic. Okay, uh, OS fingerprinting is a one of the technique under which and detailed process of doing that OS fingerprinting is called as a common knowledge. Clear? I repeat again, information gathering is basically my technique here to gather information. For that, I did the OS fingerprinting. So that is a technique and further technique which talk about detailed process of performing a OS fingerprinting is called as a common knowledge. And that is basically the full form of attack, adversarial tactics, techniques and procedure. So adversarial tactic describe the goal, 
like how to get into the network technique talk about the prop, uh, particular procedure how to do that and common knowledge is all about the detailed knowledge step by step process to perform that so in this framework when you're talking about attack framework we don't mention a detailed common knowledge because anyone can use the same kind of a framework for performing actual hacking and all that so group is very reframed to publish the detail how they basically exploit okay so let me show you the sample of that so you get a better visibility so this is basically the website which is called as a mitre okay so here you can see this is basically called as a tactics adversarial tactics so we have a 14 tactics now under each tactic example under the reconnaissance we have a techniques i click on the active scanning and under which we have a common knowledge which is called sub technique like scanning the ip block vulnerability scanning and wordless scanning so if i compare by this adversarial tactic was the this one adversarial tactic was the reconnaissance active scanning is basically technique and sub technique is a scanning ip block which is basically called as a procedure and detail function so they given the example here what is the process they have used to perform that okay and according to that they also maintain the mitigation control and how to detect such kind of a thing so we think from a hacker perspective that he can use this technique so they also give the possible detection mechanism how can you detect okay and they also give you the information about how to mitigate so that is what we have so question is who use this mitre attack and why see when you're talking about this particular framework as i said we have a different companies who use that in one company a different team basically use that the first reason of using this particular framework it assess the security of the enterprise so they assess the security by applying the intelligence about how the attacker which is called adversary and how they operate to emulate or perform a threat or emulate a threat in the company so they they so attack can basically use to create the possible simulations scenarios by which we can able to test and verify defense so example we have a website okay we got a visibility like you know someone if sending some kind of a packet against the website and if website reply that reply give the information about the os okay the website is basically give the information about the os so we understood this bug okay and we basically pass the bug so we understood the attack and by which way i was able to improve my cyber security posture of the website so it basically helps the cyber security team also which assess the effectiveness of the security operation center process and defensive measure to identify the area for improvement so there are three areas we have which get a more benefit from them so example red teaming in the company use this activity as i said we have a two type of team red team and blue team red team is the one who basically perform the offensive activity like they try to hack the things they try to test the security of the controls by doing a pen testing and all that and blue team is basically the one which try to identify the gap and try to patch that gap so these two team are basically work together to improve the cyber security of a company so red teaming question is how the red teaming basically use this activity see when you're talking about red teaming red teaming is use this activity as a as a possible attack pattern okay so they act as a threat they act as a attacker okay because if you see in the same website they have said how they perform the scanning can you see that so they are basically as i said this is the reconnaissance we have okay that is a tactics adversarial tactics we have then we have a technique which is called perform the active scanning then we have a sub technique which is called scanning ip blocks how to do that so they given the example like example like procedure example team nt has scanned the specific list of ip so i click on that team nt is a threat group has primarily target cloud and containerization information so they give the information how they did that okay so i can basically use the same technique to perform the scanning so red team can use the same technique and demonstrate if they perform this what is the impact of a breach so they can use to create a plan and organize the operation second is it can be used as a gap assessment gap assessment mean gap assessment mean we can able to determine what part of the enterprise lack in defense okay or visibility 
So attack framework can be used to assess your existing tool or test the new tool prior to purchase or determine the security coverage and prioritize the investment. Example like we have identified the gap that we need a checkpoint firewall or we need some other firewall in the company. So we can check the demo, demo of the product and then with the help of attack framework we will check whether that attack can able to stop by that firewall. So this is how we can do the gap assessment. And third, it can be used uh, in a way of adversarial emulations where we, where we address the security by applying the intelligence about the adversary and how they basically operate to emulate the threat. So attack can be used to create a adversary scenarios, which is used to test and verify the defense also. So this is how you can use that. So we have some common use cases like conducting a security gap analysis and plan security improvement. There we basically use that. We can able to maintain the cyber threat intelligence, okay, proactively by referring this website and check what is the possible new threats are there, which has been used. So we will perform the similar exercise in the organization and patch those area. We can able to develop the red team exercise and adversary simulation with more realistic circumstances. Example, we are planning to migrate some application on the cloud. We refer the attack framework and they give me the, some visibility about some threat patterns. We have adopted the threat patterns and we perform the same exercise against the cloud and check whether my cloud is secure. It communicate in a clear and simple manner with the stakeholder boss. This is the possible threat. This is the impact. This is the cost of control. So CISO can basically use the output of the uh, attack framework to convince the management on some budgets, convince the management on the security solution. And it also gives the visibility about the risk. And it acquired the common language that is advantages when dealing with the consultant and supplier. So these are some of the use cases we have, which is basically part of the, uh, uh, which can be used for the attack framework. So what is the matrix we have? So total we have a 14 tactics. Okay, so reconnaissance, resource development, initial access, execution, persistence, privilege escalations. Then we have a, a credential access, discovery, lateral movement, command and control, collection, exfiltration and impact. So we have a 14 tactics here that we can use. So same thing now we can check the website here. Here you can see the same thing. These are the 14. So reconnaissance, resource development, initial access, execution, persistence, privilege escalation, defense, credential. Now here you can see one of the thing called as the initial access. Okay. So in the, under the initial access, we have a different type of tactic techniques. So I click on the drive by compromise. Okay, they're giving me information about how to use that. What is this all about? What is this technique all about? And then we basically have a detailed procedure how to perform that. Okay, so this is how we are using the tactics, techniques and common knowledge. Okay, so these are the 14 tactics we have that is basically available on the framework, which we can adopt and by which we can able to assess the things. Now question is how to simulate, how to simulate, simulate this, uh, you know, um, this attack framework. So we have a tools also, which we can use by which we can do that. Okay. So first is basically called called as a Caldera. So Caldera is a tool is basically used for the automate adversary emulations so that we can use it's a, it's a very good tool. Actually, it is basically a good emulator tool that we can use to perform the simulation. Okay. So it leverage your attack model to identify and replicate the adverse behavior as if a real intrusion is occurring. Second, we have a meta which allow you to test your host based instrumentation, but may also allow you to test any network based detections and control depending on how you set up your vagrants. Then we have another one which is called as a ETA. ETA stand for AND game red team automation. So this is also a framework of a script which is designed to allow blue team to test the detection capability against the malicious straight calf model after the mitre attack. So they have composed of 50 scripts. And last is basically called as an atomic red team. They are the library of tests which is mapped to the mitre framework. So example, I join a company as a compliance officer or I join a company as a blue team expert. So I can use this automate red team which basically maintain the script of the all the tactics and techniques, so which is basically test against our system. See, one thing is that whenever you're using such kind of a tool, make sure you, you, you must use this tool in a sandbox environment. 
okay you must use this tool in a sandbox environment suppose you are planning to introduce a new web server and database and you want to test this web server and database for the possible adversarial attacks so you you can use this tool you can use the server in a isolated environment in which you can basically test your server so these are the tools we have that we can use but the question is what is the outcome from this tool okay what is the outcome from this tool see this tool uh, when you're talking about uh, it give me some details okay so the process of making use of this tool is state forward first it simulate so we can choose simulation criteria based on my desired testing if you have a requirement okay i would like to know what is the best way attacker can able to find the os detail of my server or what is the best way he can able to perform the lateral movement lateral movement from one network to other so we can select the simulated script and we can test against the network so you cannot it's not something okay you can randomly use a tool and then you're trying to map no you need to understand what you want to simulate second is hunt so we need to examine the logs the tool output for the evidence of the simulated activity okay you're trying to understand why detective control failed to detect why the preventative control failed to protect so we will hunt for the logs from the emulations by which we can try to improve the controls i'm talking about the tool mean these tools okay these tools is basically simulate the actions okay and then that action produce the logs the action produce the logs data that is basically helpful for me to identify the gap third the called as a detect where we add a new detection or mitigation based on the finding so tool basically work in a similar fashion thanks to one of the block from where i got this reference so we will simulate the threat we hunt for the logs and that logs is giving me a detail by which we can able to improve the control so question is how do you get started with the miter attack okay that is the next thing we have so example now company has told you as a compliance officer as a blue team expert that okay ssr company based on miter miter attack so how to do that so first of all you need to understand okay you need to understand the attack so you need to be familiarize yourself with the overall structure of the attacks which is called tactics which is called as a adversary technical goal technique mean how those goals are achieved and the procedures okay so that is a one thing second is basically find the behavior which is called as a investigate and consider the action of your adversaries okay first you understand the framework and now you need to understand the behavior you need to find the different type of behavior of the threat actors okay think about the um, think about the attacker okay think about the attacker action in a broader way question is broader way we are referring this framework we're talking about the 14 broader way okay by which we can able to understand the indicator of compromise indicator of attack so example like there is a possibility that anyone can have a reverse uh, ssl connection they can have a tls connection they will send the multiple series of packet for performing a dos attack so this is called as a find the behavior third research about the behavior investigate about the behavior okay that is the third we have so if you familiar with the behavior example we know okay he might perform or she might perform the series of packet sending me series of packet for the dos attack or they will sending me malform packet i want to investigate okay i want to investigate about the context of the packet okay okay i will do more detail about that attack pattern i will do more investigation about the attack pattern so that is why we called as the detail investigation and then i will transform the behavior into tactics okay i will transform the behavior into tactics so we can consider the attacker technical goal for that behavior and choose the tactics that fit into the things i have, we have a framework right so i thought okay the person will use uh, do the ddos attack which is a adversarial tactic and for that he will send me the 100 package so i understood the technique also so i com- i com- i club this information and i perform the similar attack against my enterprise to check whether it is my organization is secure or not okay and then i will basically determine the f- controls that we can use to mitigate that okay so that is basically called as a technique and then i will compare the result that is the next thing we have and then you can basically map your controls back with the attack to assess the coverage that provide against the technique so summary is that first understand what is attack framework investigate the possible behaviors okay investigate 
how the behavior can basically achieve the desired goal how the attacker can basically use those techniques what is the further detailed technique he can use then think from his perspective perform the attack compare the results and map the gaps with the possible control so i can give you an example here so this is called as a excel sheet which i got from a github so this kind of excel sheet you can maintain now here we have discovered uh some one of the technique called applica office application startup okay the technique id is t1137 okay so what is this t1313 uh t1137 so that is basically called as a office admin startup i click on that it giving me t1337 you can see you can see t1337001 that technique might be used okay i basically or we have another one which is called t1330 t1370002 i click on that and then they have explained me about this adversary adversary may abuse the microsoft office test registry key to obtain the persistence of the compromised things they give in the example also and they also talk about the mitigation now here they talking about the control that you can apply the ac10 what is this ac10 this is the nist control like this is the website we have so ac10 they talking about now ac10 is this okay i click on that and they giving me description of the control so hope you get understanding so first we perform the threat actions behavior perform the test okay so this is not something you maintain as a blue team this is maintained by the compliance officer or assurance team or ciso under his team of ciso so from now this is something a documentation i'm talking about more from a compliance point of view okay if he perform this kind of an attack what is the possible control we have so you can refer this particular framework you can refer this excel sheet which is there in the github which is help you to map the associate technique with the particular control id so that is how you can use okay so summary is that first understand the attack second is find the behavior what are the possible behaviors the attacker can use third investigate okay do more research about what is the further techniques he can use perform the similar techniques determine the gaps compare the result and map with the possible controls whatever the controls gaps you have identify submit in a business case get an approval from the senior management and implement those controls so that is a technique we can use the question here is that what is the ciso approach from there okay and thanks to uh, kt from where i got this reference so it's a very good blog i will share the link of the blog in my description box so question is what is the perspective of the ciso now chief information security officer use mitre to improve their cyber security posture okay but before that this framework can be used to identify the enterprise risk also okay because you can proactively seek a practical answer to the question as a part of your internal and external assessment some question like you know what does the attacker surface look like for other companies okay what is the real world observation have been made regarding this threat do i have a internal external resource like people process technology to respond to this type of threats so that visibility ciso will get by uh, by adopting this framework it is a it is also used to improve or it is used to conduct the cyber security maturity assessment also because after your team identify the uh, the techniques and tactics procedure and their relevant impact on your organization you want to create a benchmark for measuring your ability to defend at every stage okay so this is not a one size fit all effort so the question is asked then what is the likelihood of the risk okay versus what is a potential damage that would cause at my specific organization we need to map the risk scenario against the current capability to see if the identify risk meet material risk to the business so these kind of a discussions we have and by this way you can able to increase you can increase your visibility of the threat landscape also and last by performing this assessment you can able to enhance your defensive posture so ultimate goal of the miter attack is to improve your cyber security procedure because we are here thinking like an attacker we thinking like a offensive professionals and try to improve the controls okay so before we wrapping up for the session this is all from my side so before we wrapping up the session i want an answer of three questions okay 
आई वॉन्ट योर ओपिनियन ओके हाउ माइटर कैन बेसिकली इम्प्रूव द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके एंड सेकेंड इज बेसिकली वेन इट वॉज डेवलप्ड एंड थर्ड वॉट इज योर लर्निंग फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो एंड डू लेट मी नो वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट वीडियो शेल आई मेक ऑन द सॉक थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग वीडियो एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन टू मेक श्योर यू शुड नॉट मिस माई फ्यूचर वीडियोज ऑन अ सिमिलर टॉपिक एंड इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल डू शेयर इन योर नेटवर्क थैंक यू